Hi, I'm Andy, and I'm on the SRI Developer Network team, and I'm here with Jay Ant and Jeremy. Thanks for talking with me today, guys. No problem. Thank you. So what are some of the cool aspects of the JavaScript API that a developer would be interested in? What are some of the high points? I think it would be the simplicity of it. The fact that any web developer, or actually not even a web developer, any developer who's just used to simple HTML and JavaScript can just pick it up and build their applications. Jeremy? Yeah, that's, uh, Jayant's hit it on the head. We wanted to make it simple. We wanted to make it easy to work with ArcGIS Server. Um, but uh, you can still do powerful functionality, even though it is a simple uh, uh, developer experience. And so we're excited to see what people come up with. So it, it does not come with any controls, correct? It's pretty much do what you want. Yep. Uh, you can start with the map control. And um, there's a few other things we give you, like uh, give you a ability to create uh, drawing tools or a navigation uh, toolbar. But no, it's pretty much the map is your campus and, and you can work with the, uh, your data and your services how you see fit. The other, the other thing is that actually the way, uh, let me actually kind of talk about the, the individual pieces. The pieces that are in there is of course the map, as Jeremy mentioned. Then you have uh, tasks, you got toolbars, you got graphics, you got geometry. The advantage of uh, the whole API is that it's individual pieces. There's no dependencies on each other. So the, the standard concept of GIS is you need a map on the page. No, it's about the data. You can have the data and share the data, and all you could be doing is just displaying that data in a tabular format. Doesn't matter, and it's nice and simple. You want to build a complicated application, the power is in there in the API to build that complex application, or you can just keep it simple, just a tabular thing, build your own mashup to do whatever you want. Uh, you can do powerful uh, spatial operations, so you can you could do uh, really uh, uh, powerful queries, which take advantage of um, uh, complex spatial operators, so you can get uh, uh, everything within some polygon, or everything that intersects some piece of geometry. So uh, the power is there, you can access geoprocessing tasks, uh, and uh, locator tasks, and so on. Very good. So, uh, so we talked about map canvas, we talked about uh, the spatial aspects. Can you touch a little bit on REST endpoints for serving up these map services? Because that's really where the power comes from, right? Right. So the JavaScript API is uh, uh, all of the communication with ArcGIS Server goes through the REST endpoint. So the REST API for ArcGIS Server, which is new at 9.3. Uh, so if you look at the map, um, look at an application that somebody's built, uh, you can actually see the requests that are going to server. They're just URL requests. Uh, it's really lightweight, uh, scalable, uh, and uh, simple. I think uh, Jeremy actually kind of hit a good point there, scalable. The fact is because it's HTML and JavaScript, it's executing right on the client. It's not executing on the server and then there's a payload across. No, it's executing on the client. Whatever browser you're on, whatever you're comfortable with, it'll connect to the server, get just the pieces that it needs to display, and that's it. So it's nice, lightweight, but yes, REST is ultimately the power behind it. And the JavaScript is what is your front end for you to build applications. Well, great. This all sounds excellent. You guys want to show us a few demos yeah, and sure. hit on some of those high points? Yeah, cool. All right. All right. For users to really use the ArcGIS JavaScript API, the REST APIs, the starting point for them is to use the resource center. So the URL you would go to is resources.esri.com. And you get a listing of all ESRI technologies and then get into the ArcGIS server section and then right there is the ArcGIS JavaScript. The JavaScript API, the ArcGIS JavaScript API of course uh, that we've been talking about is right there. I mean all the documentation, there's been a lot of work we put in there. You got documentation on concepts, you got samples, live samples, you got the API reference. I would definitely recommend that you, you check out the object models, both the poster as well as the, as the object model because it kind of gives you the idea of how the objects are laid out and everything. And then the samples, um, definitely check them out. You've got very simple samples, as simple as adding a map to your page, and then instructions on how you can use navigation, just simple navigation. And then you also have advanced samples using geoprocessing tasks, for example, the population zonal stats right here, 
And I'm going to be a little fancy here and I'm going to draw this. There you go. Looks nice enough. Okay, so that right there, complex geometry, actually sent off a request to the server to find the population within that geometry that I just drew. Notice it was a fun geometry. <laughs> so, anyways, that's a population of uh, over 2 million and within that geometry that we drew. And, well, sorry, 2 billion, yeah. That's a lot. All right, so another thing that I want to kind of hit upon is the fact that when you go to the resources center, you can also go into the community section of it, and then you can, of course, be, we will be uh, putting in blog entries in there. There's the forums, the knowledge base, but also the code gallery is something that I think everyone should check out. The code gallery is essentially polished applications that we in-house and then uh, I guess people in future from outside ES that I would be putting in applications in there. And then you can check out each of these applications. Again, it is a good way for you to get started because these are f polished applications. They may not fit, fit the bill exactly, but at least they'll do most of the things that you need. and It'll be a good way to see how people use the API. And again, once you get into each of those you, uh, sections, you can see that there's descriptions about the author, um, post a message in there. If you have any comments, do add them, download them, try them live. You can try them live too from your own browsers. And I think the most important thing is the ratings. I We would really want to see our users rate them because it gives us an idea whether the sample is useful or not. If it's not, tell us. Post a comment in there and tell us why it was not useful. If it is useful, let us know. It really helps us out. Thank you. All right. Nice job on the demo. Thanks, Jayon. And Jeremy, do you want to say a few closing words? Just looking forward to our users getting out and using it and uh, giving us feedback so we can make it even better. The only thing i got to say, it's simple. Use it. All right. Thanks, guys, and we appreciate the time. All right. Thanks, Amy.